A 21 year old Mill Springs man has been charged in the death of his girlfriend after authorities say he shot her. News 13 Samir Nefsi talked with investigators and the victim's mother about the charge he's now facing. Polk County investigators have charged this man Tyler Lauder with involuntary manslaughter after they say he shot his girlfriend Talia Patoya. Her mother says that charge isn't enough, saying this is far from over. This is Talia um, and this was taken about a year ago. Those bright eyes and that contagious smile is how Julie Daniels will remember her baby girl. She didn't even get to live her life. She didn't get to do anything. She didn't get married, have a baby, have a career. She didn't get to have it. It got taken from her. On March 10th, Talia Patoya was at her boyfriend's house. Her mother tells News 13 she got a call saying her daughter had been shot in the chest and was on her way to a South Carolina hospital. I just remember being at the hospital and and backing away from the surgeons as they walked towards me because I knew it was too soon for them to be coming out of surgery. Um, and I just I thought if I didn't hear it, then it wouldn't be true. The 27 year old was pronounced dead at the hospital on March 17th. Tyler Lauder was charged with felony involuntary manslaughter. Polk County Chief Deputy Jeff Ramsey tells News 13 he couldn't disclose the details of what unfolded during the shooting other than uh, he was an individual that had negligently discharged a weapon. Well, anytime there's a, a loss of life, especially in an incident like this, it's definitely a, a tragedy. But I don't think they investigated it. I don't feel that they want justice for my daughter. I feel that they want to brush it under the rug and move on. Daniels claims the pair had a volatile relationship. Do you think more needs to be done by the Polk County Sheriff's Office investigating your daughter's murder? No, I think more needs to be done by someone above the Polk County Sheriff's Office. Now wanting the SBI to investigate. This GoFundMe has been created to help the family raise funds to hire external investigators. We want to make sure that that she does actually get justice and not just some semblance of justice just to get it moved on and out of the way. And I had a chance to speak to Tyler Lauder by phone earlier today. I asked him about claims of domestic violence and he denied them. I also spoke with his grandfather who told me they were 20 year olds and that boys and girls argue. Chief Deputy Ramsey tells News 13 they are still investigating. I'm Samir FC, News 13.